Peace and love, you beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from a spiritual level of being, and you have a spiritual level of being. And today we're going to be discussing the origins of human conflict, organized battles. Now, our ancestors weren't just primitive warlike savages. No, there's plenty of evidence for ancient human compassion and kindness. Our ancestors were looking after the sick, the elderly, the disabled. Now, they were also looking after women during times of pregnancy and also looking after their children. Now, there's evidence that supports our ancestors were even burying their enemies, those who they come in conflict with. So this suggests, shows human kindness. Now, we have to think that our ancestors were similar to us. Now, it's just we have further advancements. We have to learn from somewhere. So, as human consciousness arose on this planet, so did the idea of compassion and love human constructs. Now, we once believed that Neanderthals were killed off by Homo sapiens. There is now evidence to suggest interbreeding. In Denisovan Cave, they found Denisovans, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens living together in a community. Now, organized battles and tactics most likely came from the use of hunting using tactics during hunting, ambushes. Now, when tool making and weapon making started being used, further tactics would be evolving and become more complex. Now, in 1964, the Jebel Shahada, sorry, I butchered the name, burial site, a prehistoric burial site was discovered, which contained 61 skeletons. At one stage, I was taught at school that this is the earliest known battle between ancient humans. Now, this was built around 14,000 years ago, this burial site. But it showed that these skeletons were not all from the same time. They were buried in different time periods, some of which even had old wounds that had healed. One woman was found with broken bones that were healed, suggesting she was in two conflicts during her time of life and when she died. Now, it's showing that these people that were buried here all suffered some form of trauma, physical trauma, suggesting that this was a burial ground for those who died in battle. Now, this would be due to ambushes, raids, maybe even hunting accidents. Reasons could vary. Now, amongst two of these skeletons, two individuals were shown to have been struck down and then executed to an arrow to the head through the lower jaw. So, suggesting an execution. But, again, all these deaths were not related to one event. It was multiple different events, suggesting multiple different minor conflicts. Now, the walls of Jericho, for instance, there's further evidence now supporting that they weren't actually built to stop raids, but rather to protect the city from the nearby spring floodings from the mountains. So this all suggests that conflicts were rather small compared to now, that warfare was taken seriously and the death of 30 to 40 people could result in serious catastrophes for the tribe or even the community. Now, uh, Ancestors who were also hunter and gathering, the loss of this many people could have been disastrous for the entire tribe and would have also could have meant their extinction. Now this in turn supports the evidence that human conflicts were being quick events taken seriously, most likely involving the use of champions or the defenders of the tribe would take in parts of conflict. This way of warfare was continued on even in Africa amongst the warring tribes that the champions would fight or a few soldiers and it'd be a quick little varies of skirmishes before one side would either flee or give up. So this is possibly how our ancestors would have handled battle, but most likely these events would have been random and last resorts. Now, as tall use improved, throwing spears appeared, slings, bows, this led to more complex organizations and tactics being used during the end of the last ice age around 115,000 BC to 11,700 BC. 
spears, clubs and throwing stones were the most used and important weapons of the time, which was used during hunting and ambushes of prey. There is no supporting evidence that these ideas of tactics were used against other humans. So when conflicts did arise, they would have used any means necessary. Now, this in turn leads to that the idea of conflicts towards other humans was a more rare and isolated event as these tactics were mostly used on prey during times of hunting to limit the loss of life. Now, one of the earliest known evidences of human conflict can be found in Iraq, Shadonir Cave, where they found a Neanderthal male who lived around 45 to 50,000 years ago with a chest wound, most likely caused by a throwing spear, which during the time researchers believed was caused by a Homo sapien with their use of throwing spears. Because they didn't believe Neanderthals were capable of throwing spears at this time, they believed they were limited to stabbing weapons because of their body structure. We now, however, have Further evidence supporting that Neanderthals did throw their spears and that they used similar tactics to other human species. Now, in 1983, a German farmer accidentally discovered a death pit known as the Tauheim Death Pit, where they discovered 34 bodies of men, women and children. Now, most of which were killed to a blow to the head caused by a stone axe, suggesting execution, also suggesting that these individuals were caught off guard surprised during an ambush and then executed. Now, this death pit or this massacre was also related to other death pits that were discovered in other lesser known series of conflicts in Europe around 5000 BC. Now, it is believed that this massacre was related to the use of capturing and enslaving women. Now, interesting, amongst these corpses, None of the female bodies actually belonged to the Tauheim community, suggesting they were either spared or captured, and that this Tauheim community most likely captured other women, as there were two other immigrant groups amongst these Tauheim groups of male and children bodies, belonging to two different other groups. So either captured or immigrated in and mixed in with this particular group. However, this also suggests maybe the indication of selective breeding as the individuals who raided this group only took these women and killed the rest. Now, it's unsure whether this conflict was even organized or not. So it's possible that this was a tribal conflict. We don't actually know. Now, we also have cave paintings cave paintings of tactics being used, ancient humans riding on horses, using arrows. We also have depictions of archery battles, the depictions of hunting mammoths with archery, even archery on horseback. We have a painting of a execution suggesting that a group had a leader. Now, the use of walls, fences, first started appearing when humans first started farming, cultivating. Now, this in turn led to more resources and supplies to be gathered up a lot easier, which in turn led into civilization. Though, this in turn also led to more conflicts as the humans that had not settled and were struggling to be self-sufficient on the resources they were gathering, end up in turn raiding these other cultures that were farming, which in turn led to the use of walls, fences. This in turn led to the formation of civilization, kingdoms and empires that would form into the modern age. Now, it is likely that early humans did have some form of defense though. Defense using sharpened sticks even to keep away predators. Now, it's interesting when we start looking at the human development, the ideas of new technologies being formed. And when we start looking at the ancient remains and burial sites, we come across new evidence. I would love to see what we will further discover. Now, as I mentioned early on, the idea of tactics being used for hunting is in what turn led to the 
tactics being used in warfare, for instance, driving animals off cliffs, leading them to booby traps. The idea of ambushing prey would be in turn used in tactics of warfare. So using what we were learning to use against each other. But it wasn't just all grim and warfare. There was also defense, compassion, love, taking care of each other. That was also involved. Now, when we started farming, we in turn were also producing medicine to in turn take care of one another. So peace and love everyone. I love you all. Connect to one minus all. Namaste.